Welcome back to the deep dive. Ready to explore some side hustles with serious earning potential. We're talking hundreds a day, folks. And we've got some insights from YouTube experts who've cracked the code. We'll break it all down and help you figure out what might be the right fit for you. It's pretty amazing how many people are finding success outside that traditional nine to five. And, you know, what's fascinating is they're not all tech geniuses or like social media stars or anything like that. Our sources highlight everyday people making bank by tapping into stuff they already have. OK, I'm intrigued. Let's dive in. First up, something that honestly blew my mind, renting out your parking space. I mean, who knew that empty spot could be a gold mine? One expert, Shane Hummus. He calls it a hidden income stream, especially lucrative in busy areas. Think about it, concerts, sporting events, those popular restaurants, everyone's always desperate for parking. He mentioned someone making like $1,200 a month, just from a few backyard spots and even a single space in Brighton, OK, brought in over $6,000 a year. That's practically paying rent. And the best part is those platforms like Neighbor, they handle the logistics. They even offer insurance options. It's like Airbnb, but for your driveway. Exactly. It's low effort, consistent income. And this whole theme of leveraging what you already have, it keeps popping up. Like, for example, your voice. Your voice could be making you money. Oh, interesting. Everyone's got a voice, but is there really that much demand for voiceover work these days? Actually, huh? the demand is exploding. Think about it. All the podcasts, audiobooks, you know, explainer videos, even those automated messages you hear when you're on hold. One expert highlighted a voice actor landing a $1,200 gig for a national radio ad just from promoting their work on those platforms like Fiverr. Wow. That's amazing. He did also mention that it can be super competitive, though, right? And that aspiring voiceover artists should definitely invest in a decent microphone. Oh, for sure. Professional quality audio is key. And learning those basic editing skills is crucial, too. It's not just about having, like, a good voice. It's about presenting yourself as a professional. Makes total sense. Speaking of presentation, let's talk visuals. Selling stock footage. Everyone's got a smartphone camera these days, but can you really make money from those random clips? It's not really about random clips. It's about, like, finding your niche. Hummus, the expert we were talking about before, he pointed out that while those iconic landmarks might be overdone, there's actually a huge demand for unique everyday footage. Think, like, local events, quirky animal behavior, even, uh, well, he actually said your cat doing something adorably weird can be surprisingly valuable. Okay, now I'm just picturing hilarious cat videos. But seriously, how much can you actually earn from this? It varies. One source mentioned a content creator making some modest income from their drone footage, but another highlighted a full-time stock videographer earning a significant amount by focusing on those popular niches. So there's potential for both active and passive income then, depending on your, like, commitment and strategy. But one thing that struck me, though, is the importance of knowing the legal side of things, you know, yeah. like property releases, model releases, all that. Oh, absolutely. It's crucial to protect yourself and make sure you have the right to use the footage that you're selling. And don't forget keywords. It's like SEO for your footage. Got to make it searchable. OK, this next one is kind of like Airbnb, but for your stuff, peer to peer storage rental. You basically become a mini storage mogul just by renting out your unused space. People are renting out everything. Garages, spare rooms, even parking spaces. One expert highlighted that low effort nature of it, describing someone earning like $28 a month from a backyard shed with minimal tenant interaction. That's brilliant. I mean, you could potentially make money from that cluttered corner of your garage. <laughs> but what about security? Isn't it kind of risky to store someone else's belongings? Good point. Good locks are definitely key, security cameras, and a solid contract outlining all those terms and conditions. The experts definitely emphasize that. Right, right. You need to protect yourself, make sure everyone's on the same page. Now let's talk about something. I love product testing. I love the idea of getting paid for my opinion, but are we talking about like those penny paying survey sites? No, not at all. We're talking about legitimate product testing digs with specialized market research firms. One source mentions someone earning $553 in their first month by balancing testing with their full-time job. Okay, so maybe not hundreds a day right away, but it's a good way to earn some extra cash and maybe even discover some cool new products in the process. Exactly. And it highlights that variety of options out there. But before we move on to some of those online platforms, I wanted to mention a fantastic opportunity to help supercharge your side hustle journey make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide. 
It's titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. It's over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Just submit your name and email and click the verification link that's sent to your email address. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Now back to those online platforms, several experts highlighted Amazon Mechanical Turk, where you can complete those microtasks requiring human intelligence. So it's about using your brain power for tasks that computers can't handle yet, right? Mm. What kind of tasks are we talking about? Things like data entry, transcribing audio, even identifying objects and images. While some testimonials suggest the pay might have been higher a few years ago, it's still a potential way to make a couple hundred extra dollars per week. Interesting. Now, what about those research platforms, the ones tied to universities? I've heard they actually pay a lot better than those generic survey sites. One expert highlighted Prolific, which connects you with studies. From universities and corporations, they offer guaranteed hourly wages and complete flexibility, with some studies paying $20 an hour or more plus bonuses. Whoa, $20 an hour. Just for participating in studies, that's incredible. Right, they have over 200,000 active participants, but there is a wait list, you know, to avoid oversaturating their pool, so patience is key. Good to know. So if you're looking for a higher earning potential and have specific language skills, another expert recommended Rev for transcription, captioning, and translation work. They claim you can earn anywhere from $30 to $60 an hour, and sometimes even more, depending on the complexity in your skills. They even say translators can earn like $958 a month on average. It's no surprise there's a wait list there too. If this sounds interesting to you, I would definitely recommend getting on that wait list ASAP. Definitely, definitely. And speaking of getting on a wait list, let me remind you about another opportunity that you won't want to miss. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. And see. get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. It's packed with over 12,300 words of life-changing information and can help you build a successful affiliate marketing business. Just submit your name and email and click the verification link that's sent to your email address. The link is in Brian's YouTube bio. Now, another platform that was mentioned was Cloud Research Connect, which offers micro tasks that average around $10 an hour. And they also partner with researchers from universities and corporations, which, you know, might explain that higher pay compared to those uh, generic survey sites. Exactly. And let's not forget about Prime Opinion and Paid Viewpoint. Prime Opinion claims to pay like 150% more for the same surveys you'd find elsewhere, while Paid Viewpoint offers, quote, real cash, not points you can redeem for yo-yos and friendship bracelets. Love it. That's a refreshing change from those reward point systems that never seem to add up to anything worthwhile. But both platforms do emphasize that survey taking alone won't replace a full-time income. Definitely. It's best to think of these platforms as supplementary income streams, not the be-all and end-all of your uh, financial goals. Right. And remember that advice from Shane Hummus. Don't get hung up on perfection. Just start. So true. Before we move on to some side hustles that leverage those kind of more traditional skills, let's just take a moment to reflect on what we've learned so far. I mean, there are tons of options out there, but you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Exactly. You can monetize the assets you already have, whether it's a parking space, your voice, even just your opinion. The key is to find something that aligns with like your interests and your lifestyle, and then take action. I completely agree. And if you're feeling inspired to start your own side hustle journey but aren't sure where to begin, I highly recommend checking out a valuable resource. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. And get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link is in Brian's YouTube bio. Okay, now that you've got that valuable resource at your fingertips, let's dive into some side hustles that might require a bit more experience or those specialized skills. Sounds good. Let's explore how you can leverage your existing talents to create a thriving side hustle. One expert, Rose Hahn, she shared some fantastic insights on remote side hustles. And she reminded us that your job doesn't care about you. Oof, that's uh, a bit blunt. Hmm. But true. Right. But she really stresses like diversifying your income, not relying solely on one employer. Yeah, that's a sobering thought. Yeah, but it's true, especially after the pandemic. Having those multiple income streams is more important than ever. So what kind of side hustles does she recommend? One that stood out was direct response copywriting. So it's about, you know, persuading people to take action, like oh. making a purchase or signing up for a newsletter. She pays her copywriter two thousand dollars a month 
for just 20 hours of work. That's $100 an hour. Exactly. Wow, that's serious money. And she mentioned hiring others for those, like short-term projects, paying anywhere from $8,000 to $112,000 for three months of work. Yeah. She even shared a story about like a, a top earner who wrote a sales page that generated $400 million. What? And she gets a percentage of those profits. So you can imagine how lucrative that is. That's next level. Mm. But what about those of us who aren't like master persuaders? How do we even get started with something like that? Well, Rose recommends, you know, studying books on persuasive communication, taking online courses from those experienced copywriters. She also suggests like finding businesses you admire and sending those personalized pitches, even offering like a discount or free work to build your portfolio. So it's about showing initiative and proving your value. Exactly. Word of mouth is super powerful too. She mentioned that all of her copywriters were actually found through referrals. Wow. Now what about those of us who are more organized than persuasive? Oh, Rose had us covered there too. She highlighted virtual assistants or VAs who provide a wide range of those remote services from like tech support and admin tasks to creative assistance. Okay, I can see how valuable that would be for those busy entrepreneurs who don't have time to manage everything themselves. Exactly. Being detail-oriented, organized, yeah. communicative, and a quick learner are key, according to Rose. She even mentioned she pays her VA $45 an hour. That's incredible. But where do you find these, like, VA gigs? She actually recommended skipping those uh, generic freelance marketplaces and starting with an agency. That provides training and connects you with clients. Smart. It's like having a support system and a built-in client base to get you started. Yep. And then once you gain experience, you can ask clients to, like, buy out your contract and work for them directly. Ooh, that's a great way to transition to independence and potentially earn even more. Now, this next side hustle is a bit different. It's about leveraging your knowledge of the financial markets. Options trading. Yes. Rose highlighted a strategy called high probability spread trading, which focuses on those trades with a high likelihood of success. Okay. I'll admit this one's a little bit out of my comfort zone. It's about minimizing risk and maximizing potential profits by targeting specific strike prices that are likely to move in a favorable direction. Rose claims she makes like up to $1,000 a month using the strategy, spending less than an hour per week on it. Wow. But it sounds like it requires a certain level of, you know, financial knowledge and risk tolerance. She emphasized understanding the mechanics of options trading and managing your emotions as with any investment strategy. Right, right. Don't let fear or greed dictate your decisions. Now, another expert, Jensen Tung, he focused on those AI-powered side hustles, emphasizing that many require no upfront investment. Exactly. Just access to the right AI tools and a willingness to learn. He started with photo colorization, demonstrating mm -hmm. how AI can, you know, transform those black and white photos into color images in seconds using tools like CapCut. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. And creative. Yeah. And there's definitely a market for it, especially among like those older generations yeah. with those treasured family photos. Exactly. Tongue pointed out you can charge like five to ten dollars per photo on platforms like Fiverr. Not bad for a quick job. What other AI magic did he unveil? He showed how AI can actually create like clothing model photos without actual model. Hey, what? Yeah. He used CapCut's AI character tool to generate those realistic images of people wearing different outfits, mm -hmm. customizing their appearance, poses, even backgrounds. That's incredible. It's like having a virtual model mm -hmm. at your fingertips. It's a game changer for those clothing brands, especially, you know, smaller ones, yeah. without those big budgets. But he did emphasize that, you know, while AI tools are powerful, they're only one piece of the puzzle. You still need those marketing, pricing, and client communication skills. That's a great reminder. AI isn't a magic bullet. It takes human ingenuity to make it work. What about product photos? Every online business needs them, but not everyone can create them. Mm. You know. Tang demonstrated how AI can remove backgrounds, add white backgrounds, and even generate those custom ones that interact with the product. He mentioned people are charging like $5 per photo for basic background removal on Fiverr while those uh, more complex enhancements can command higher prices. So there's money to be made. But to really maximize earnings, he recommends working with businesses that, you know, don't even have product photos yet. He shared his own experience earning over $100 per project while in university, taking and editing photos in Photoshop. It shows the demand is there, and AI can just make the process much faster and more efficient. Exactly. Now let's talk social media graphics, another area where AI shines. Every business needs those engaging visuals, mm -hmm. but creating them 
can be time consuming and requires like, you know, design expertise. Right. Tang showed how CapCut's text design tool can generate those custom graphics from like a simple description and image. They also have those business image templates you can customize or like start from scratch. Wow. You don't even need to be a designer anymore. But what's the best way to make money with these? Do you like sell generic templates online? He recommends focusing on those long-term partnerships. With businesses that need consistent content creation support, it's about building relationships mm. and becoming their go-to graphic designer. Ooh, I like that. Building a stable income stream by becoming a valuable asset. And he even suggested packaging social media copywriting with your designs, which you can also create, you know, using AI tools like ChatGPT. Brilliant. Offering that comprehensive solution, that saves time and effort. Speaking of which, let's talk about content repurposing. Okay, I'm all ears. Many video creators need help repurposing their like long form content into those shorter videos. For platforms like TikTok and Instagram Reels, they're willing to pay like tens to hundreds of dollars per edit. Wow, so there's a real market for this, but is it just like chopping up a long video into smaller chunks? It typically involves adding captions, resizing the video, and potentially adding, you know, video effects and D-roll. Okay, so some video editing knowledge is needed. He recommends using CapCut's online editor to easily switch aspect ratios and preview how the final video is going to look on each platform. Oh, great tip. You don't want those captions getting cut off or like important visuals hidden. Exactly. He suggests reaching out to creators, making those talking head, interview, or like podcast style videos as they're easier to repurpose. Smart strategy. Start with a low-hanging fruit and work your way up. Now, what about YouTube thumbnails? Those like attention-grabbing images, they're so important. Tung said people charge like up to $50 per thumbnail on Fiverr, but many YouTubers are willing to pay more because they understand the importance of a good thumbnail. Right, right. It's often the first impression viewers have of your video, so it's got to be eye-catching. Exactly. He recommends designing thumbnails with CapCut using like text, photos, stickers, and the remove background tool. But he also emphasizes, you know, researching what makes a good thumbnail, understanding the psychology behind clicks. Great advice. And how do you find these thumbnail designing gigs? He recommends reaching out to, you know, both big and small creators, as well as businesses with YouTube channels, showcasing your skills and like tailoring pitches to each client. Now let's talk video editing in general. Okay, this one's particularly interesting to me. Skilled video editors are in high demand these days with the explosion of video content everywhere. Tongue, who earned like thousands from those freelance gigs while in university. He emphasized that advancements in AI make it easier than ever to, you know, get started. He demonstrated how CapCut's tools can even edit videos for you, like their product URL to ads tool, which generates ads by simply pasting a product link. Oh, that's impressive. But even with AI, there's still a learning curve, right? Absolutely. To make like serious money, you'll need to learn to edit beyond just using AI tools and templates. That makes sense. You need that solid foundation and the fundamentals to really excel. For those ready to dive deeper, he recommends exploring CapCut's business video templates, which offer like customizable options for different products and services. Great tip. Having a starting point you can personalize is super helpful. <laughs> he also mentioned creating like an AI YouTube channel oh. where he uses AI generated characters and voices for engaging content. It's amazing how people are leveraging AI to like push those creative boundaries. He encouraged viewers to explore CapCut's AI character tool to create and customize, you know, those virtual characters. The possibilities are endless. But what does the rise of AI influencers mean for us human creators? Mm. I mean, will we all be replaced by virtual avatars? It's a valid concern, but Tung believes AI can be a powerful tool for human creators, not a replacement. I hope he's right. I'm not ready to hand over my social media accounts to a virtual me, but the potential of AI to, like, transform the creative landscape is mm. fascinating. Now let's shift gears and explore another online platform-driven side hustle. Google to purchase, also known as Google affiliate marketing. One of our experts, Wisdom Speaks, he highlighted this method as a way to leverage the massive traffic that's flowing through Google every single day. Right. People are constantly searching for information, products, solutions, and Google is their go-to. He shared that like over 88,000 Google searches happen every second with a significant portion being product related. Many people are making, you know, life-changing money by creating websites that rank high for those specific keywords, attracting viewers who are already interested in making purchases. So it's about tapping into that demand 
yeah. and guiding those potential customers toward what they're already searching for. Exactly. He highlighted the power of affiliate marketing, yeah. where you earn a commission for each sale through your unique affiliate link. It's like being a virtual salesperson without the pressure of, you know, cold calling or door-to-door -door marketing. I like that. Providing valuable information and recommendations yeah. and getting a cut if someone buys based on your guidance. How do you even get started with this? He emphasizes choosing the right niche, an area that aligns with, like, your interests and expertise. He shared an example of a website called uh, Best Laptops of 2024 which ranks highly for those keywords. Okay, yeah, I see how that would attract traffic. But how do you compete with those established websites, you know, the yeah. ones that are already dominating those search results? He shared a secret focus on long tail keywords. So those are longer, more specific phrases with lower search volume, but less competition. Smart. Finding those niches where you can stand out. Exactly. So instead of best laptops, you might target best laptops for college students under $500. Much more specific. And less competitive. But how do you even find those long tail keywords? He suggested a simple Google search tactic. When you start typing a query, Google suggests related keywords based on popular searches. Right. It's like Google's reading your mind. Exactly. By paying attention to those suggestions, you can uncover those valuable long tail keywords. So Google's doing the keyword research for you. Mm. What do you do with them once you've found them? Create high quality informative articles that address those specific search queries, naturally incorporating those affiliate links to relevant products and services. So providing value while strategically promoting products that are aligned with your readers' needs and interests. Exactly. He highlighted creating content that's informative and engaging, keeping readers on your page, and increasing clicks on your affiliate links. So not just stuff in those articles with keywords and links, mm. but genuinely helpful content that people actually want to read and share. He emphasized using a user-friendly and SEO-optimized website builder, specifically recommending Hostinger's AI website builder, which offers affordable hosting, a free domain name, and AI-powered tools to help you like create and optimize your content. Oh, great for beginners without that technical expertise. He also highlighted using AI tools Text. like ChatGPT to generate article ideas and even, you know, write entire articles, saving time and effort. AI is your writing assistant. But he did emphasize reviewing and editing any AI-generated content to ensure accuracy, engagement, and your unique voice. Right. AI is a tool, not a replacement for human creativity. Yeah. Speaking of how do you actually make money from this, show me the money. He explained that there are two main revenue streams, ad revenue, Mm. and affiliate commissions. Ad revenue is generated through, you know, those display ads. More traffic means more ad impressions and potentially more money. So it's all about driving traffic to your website. Exactly. That's where those long tail keywords and high quality content come in, attracting the right audience. Now what about those affiliate commissions? You sign up for an affiliate program like Amazon Associates, which gives you a unique link to incorporate into your content when someone clicks and buys, you earn a commission. So it's a passive income stream. You do the work up front, then earn on autopilot. In theory, yes. But he cautioned, you know, it's not a get rich quick scheme. It takes time and effort to build a website that ranks high and attracts a loyal audience. Right. It's the long game, building a sustainable business, not chasing those quick wins. He focuses on programs with, you know, higher commissions, maximizing that earning potential. He even offered to share his strategies in a free 30-minute masterclass, which we'll link in the show notes. Fantastic. A valuable resource for aspiring affiliate marketers. Now, let's explore another way to leverage those online platforms. Selling digital products. Oh, yes. It's a low overhead, high profit potential business model. You're reaching a global audience with your skills and expertise. I'm intrigued, but overwhelmed by all the different types. What are some of the, you know, like popular and profitable options? Kate Hay is one of our experts. She shared a few of her favorites, starting with templates. So they provide a starting point that customers can customize, saving them time and outer. Like a blueprint. What kind of templates are people selling? Everything. Social media graphics, invitations, workbooks, coaching resources, slide presentations. The possibilities are endless. Wow. Templates for almost anything. She also mentioned, like, printable wall art mm -hmm. as another popular product. Yeah. People are buying those digital files. They can print at home which is more convenient and affordable. So far, so good. What else did she reveal? Courses. The online education market is booming, and you don't have to be an expert, just a few steps ahead of your audience with valuable information to share. 
She mentioned courses on everything from like dog training and the keto diet to personal development and business strategies. Courses on almost any topic and they generate that passive income. You create the content once and sell it repeatedly. She also mentioned digital planners. So convenient and customizable. All your schedules, to-dos, notes in one place, accessible from any device. Okay, what about some of those more unique digital products? She mentioned digital paper. Huh. So you create those seamless patterns and sell them as digital files for scrapbooking or design projects. Ooh, that's a cool idea. And Lightroom presets for those using, you know, the Lightroom photo editing app. So mm. those are predefined settings that are applied to photos to achieve those specific looks and effects, saving time and effort. Okay, I'm getting overwhelmed. How do you choose the right product? She recommends finding the intersection of profitability and passion. So something that's in demand with sales potential, but also, you know, enjoyable and sustainable for you. Yeah, you want to burn out creating something you hate. Exactly. And if you're stuck, she actually created a free master list of digital product ideas linked in the show notes. Awesome. Once you've chosen your product, then what's next? Decide on the tools. Design software, graphic elements, fonts, images, all the building blocks. She recommends platforms like Canva, Creative Market, and Creative Fabrica for sourcing design assets. Great tips. Once you've created your product, then where do you sell it? Choose a sales channel based on your product. Etsy and Shopify are great for, like, templates and printable art, while Kajabi and Kartra are better for those uh, courses and educational content. Choose the right platform for your needs. She also offers a free 45-minute digital product masterclass, link in the show notes, to help you navigate those uh, you know, initial steps. Fantastic. Now let's explore a more hands-on, service-oriented side hustle, Amazon product reviewing. Okay, I'm all ears. Tell me more. Judd Albring, he shared his insights on leveraging the Amazon Influencer Program, which isn't about like being a traditional influencer, but mm. creating those short video reviews of products that you've purchased, uploading mm. them to your Amazon storefront, and earning a commission when someone watches and buys. Oh, like a mini affiliate program yeah. within Amazon. Exactly. It's a great way to earn that passive income because the video can generate sales for months or even years. The program has exploded in popularity with plenty of room for new creators. So it's not too late to join. Not at all. He emphasized that with millions of products sold daily on Amazon, there's always a demand for new and insightful reviews. I see the potential. But how do you get approved for this program? Is it just anyone, like, with an Amazon account? There's an application process. With guidelines, you need to have an active social media presence with at least like 100 followers mm -hmm. on a platform like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, or YouTube. So you need like an online following to get started. Does the content have to be a specific type? It doesn't have to be like traditional influencer content, but focus on, you know, your interests and passions. If you love cooking, share recipes and tips on Instagram that demonstrates your, you know, expertise and credibility. Right. Be active and regularly post valuable content. While Amazon doesn't disclose like their exact criteria, an active presence with a decent following, it just increases your chances of getting accepted. So it's worth building that solid foundation yeah. before applying. Exactly. And even if you're not approved at first, you'll receive feedback to improve your next application. Oh, that's encouraging. Not a one-and-done situation. Now, about the money, how much can you earn? He explained it's a combination of strategy and a numbers game. Amazon pays a percentage of each sale generated through your videos with different commission rates for different categories. So strategically choosing products based on those commission rates can make a difference. Absolutely. Some categories like, you know, games, they offer higher commissions, like up to 20%, yeah. while others like furniture have lower rates around 3%. But it's also a numbers game. More reviews mean more potential sales. So diversifying your portfolio. Yeah. And increasing your chances of attracting buyers. Exactly. He shared that he uploaded over 400 videos in one week and earned over $2,000 in his first month. Wow. That sounds like a lot of work. It was a significant upfront investment, but those videos continued generating income every month, even without, you know, creating new content. A grind in the beginning. Yeah. But the potential for that passive income is there. He even shared a hack to 5X's earnings, filming products he already owns. Ooh, tell me more. Most people have like hundreds of products at home that they could review from kitchen appliances to furniture to electronics. Looking around your home with a money-making perspective. Exactly. He suggests starting with your kitchen. 
then moving to other rooms, even your garage. Turning your home into a reviewing studio. He encourages checking the Amazon commission rate chart online to see which categories offer those highest rates. Strategizing and choosing products to maximize earnings. And remember, you can also earn commissions on other items that viewers add to their carts after watching your video. A bonus. Even if they don't buy the specific product, you can still earn if they buy other items. A ripple effect of earning potential. Okay. Before we wrap up this deep dive, one expert reminded us that just knowing about these opportunities won't make you any money. You need to pick one and take action. That's such an important point. We can research all day long, but the magic happens when we take action. So what stands out to you? What sparks your interest the most? Which one are you gonna try? It's pretty inspiring, you know, seeing so many people taking control of their financial futures through side hustles. It's not even just about making like extra cash anymore. It's about creating opportunities yeah. and building a more resilient lifestyle. I totally agree. It's about empowerment, having yeah. options. So to wrap up this deep dive into side hustles, let's recap some of those key takeaways and maybe leave our listeners with some final thoughts. One thing that really stood out to me was just the sheer variety of options available. It's not a one size fits all world anymore. You can you know, leverage those existing assets like your parking space or your voice, tap into the power of AI, mm. or even become like a virtual salesperson right. through affiliate marketing. And the beauty of it is so many of these side hustles, they can be combined. You could be, you know, renting out your parking space while completing micro tasks online mm -hmm. or testing products right. while transcribing audio in your spare time. That's a great point. It's about thinking creatively, stacking those income streams. Another key takeaway is the importance of taking action. We can spend all day consuming information, but the real magic happens when we actually apply what we've learned. Absolutely. It's about getting out of our comfort zones, mm -hmm. experimenting, finding what works best for us. And don't forget, it's not about perfection. It's about progress. So true. Don't let that fear or self-doubt hold you back. Start small, learn as you go, and celebrate those wins along the way. And remember, the side hustle landscape, it's constantly evolving. New platforms, tools, opportunities, they're emerging all the time. That's why it's so important to stay curious, keep learning, and just be open to new possibilities. Who knows? The next big side hustle trend yeah. might be right around the corner. And if you're looking for like more inspiration and guidance on your side hustle journey, I highly recommend checking out a fantastic resource. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. And get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. It's packed with over 12,300 words of life-changing information that can help you build a successful online business. Just submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link is in Brian's YouTube bio. It's a treasure trove of information and actionable strategies that can really help you navigate this whole world of side hustles and achieve your financial goals. Thanks for joining us on The Deep Dive. We hope you've gained some valuable insights and inspiration to start building your own side hustle empire. Remember. The future of work is flexible, entrepreneurial, and driven by passion. So what are you waiting for? Dive in and discover the possibilities. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep diving deep.